the Warriors. The Warriors. A 1979 film. One hour and 30 minutes long. It's a 7.3 on IMDb. It makes it in my top 20 films of all time. Ranking. I want to thank NVD Entertainment for sending me this to review. So you guys can go pick this up. This is the actual Arrow box set without the actual box it's just a screener but i'm here to tell you and to sell you on the features because i absolutely love this movie and i'll probably be getting that set regardless of having this screener <laughs> now this was available in september it came out september of 2023 this set I'm not quite for sure when it was released this arrow box set I know a lot of people are updating it last month, but let me just go into this. So let's start off with the alternate version of the film. Now Walter Hill wanted to make this alternate version more custom to how he wanted the film to be, which initially the film was supposed to be more, I guess, more of a Greek type film in terms of of the battle and the war, kind of like 300 comic strips as well. And they add that with this particular alternate version. They add kind of a comic strip to it to make it more, a little more like a comic book in between segments. And then it also focuses on having a little more of an extended time. The picture quality definitely looks good better than the alternate cut or the other cut but you get to see more of the gangs that are not in not featured in the film there was like a hundred gangs in this film uh, one of them being actually a gang that was gay um, a group of gay men and they never actually showed them in the film but you get to see some artwork of them and I thought that was pretty cool that he included them why shouldn't they? So anyways, that's basically what you get on that part of the alternate version. Was what Walter Hill really wanted his envision to be. And then we have the actual film itself that comes with a whole bunch of features. Which again, this is in my top 20 films, possibly top 15 of all time. Uh, with this... Again, I want to thank MVD Entertainment for sending me this. It's kind of like an early Christmas gift, but you get commentary on this film with multiple different people on it. You get soundboards, you get also costume set design from the woman that did all the costumes and the, the uh, artwork on each individual character. She put a ton of work into the art. As her Walter Hill would discuss each individual character and how they would come out onto the set. Um, you get a look at then and now of Coney Island, which I thought was really, really cool. I would love to go there, but it's not, obviously not what it used to be. Apparently back in the, the late 70s, mid 70s, Coney Island was a pretty bad place. Somewhere you don't want to go alone. I guess when the film actually went to theater... I guess there was a whole bunch of fights and shootouts broke out. And Tell me more about Coney Island, folks, in the comments. I want to know. If you're from New York, tell me more about Coney Island. I really would like to know. Or just in general, if you're an enthusiast. Uh, also, uh, with this, you'll learn a little bit more about the characters. You know, Michael Beck, how they had to kill his character off early for certain reasons in the, the film. I'm not going to discuss why, how the convention scene is with the film, how people just make this a cult classic and people bring their kids to the conventions to meet the actors and the kids come dressed up like characters from the Warriors. Uh, you get information about the soundtrack to the film, which is, absolutely love the soundtrack. Uh, the budget, they talked about the budget in the film. 
just so much good stuff here. You know, some of the real gangs that were involved in the making of the film. How they had to get permission to shoot in certain territories. Just so much freaking fun, man. I mean, this is just... If you guys love this movie, you've got to get this aerial release. Um, it is region free. I don't have a region free player, and I did play it on my... I watched both cuts, actually one right after another, because I'm that much of a fanboy, and they both played perfectly fine, no problem. This is the set that I've always wanted, I'm going to see if I can find the artwork to it, um, or just buy the film outright, and keep this one as a backup, but this movie is phenomenal, and I think it tells a story about how times were and how things are and I thought the Lizzie's were cool if you know the Lizzie's you know the film I always wondered when I was a kid because I would go to the video store just to give you some memories for me I would go to the video store with my parents to rent VHS and I believe this is right before DVD came out and I always seen the Warriors VHS and I remember being so young that I wasn't able to rent that one the second I became of age to rent it, that was the first one that I rented. It just looks so dope, the cover art. With all the different gangs and stuff. Um, but this is a highly recommended, uncontested, you know, 5.0 uh, on the Bogwood scale film. I actually know one person that still hasn't seen this movie. But this is highly recommended. If you're a fan of the Warriors, you've got to get this Blu-ray box set. It has everything you could possibly want on it. Two versions of the film. You get the more grainier version if you like that type of version. Or if you like the version that's a little more cleaned up, a little bit more of extension. And a little bit of a comic strip with it. Then, also, Walter Hill talks about when they were making the film, the different characters. He was kind of drunk with his best friend and they were eating pizza. I thought that was funny, coming up with some of the names of the groups, like the Baseball Furies, and um, the, uh, the, I believe there's one called the, the uh, of course, the Warriors, the Rogues, um, and how some of the gangs were based off of areas like the, uh, the Orphans and whatnot. It's just so cool. There's just so many gangs. The Moon Raiders, um, the Electric Eliminators. You know, I believe there's one called the Misfits, the Nimrods. So many different groups of gangs. It's just so cool. Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts on the Warriors, if you love it as much as I do. And go get this set. Catch up with you later. Have a good, good rest of your year. Peace.